Hi, kindergarten. Today we're going to read about more farm animals. I'm on Epic, and again, I typed in farm animals to the search box so I could find interesting books about farm animals. If you want to find any interesting information about the animal that you chose to research, you could type that in here. You could type cow, pig, sheep. You could type whatever you'd like to research up there, and then all of the books about that animal should pop up. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and read this book. Today I wanted to read a book that had some interesting facts in it, but it's more of a story because we've been reading a lot of books that are nonfiction. So a lot of books that are real and have pictures of farm animals that are real. But today I wanted more of a story. So I have to go all the way back to the beginning because it is opening up at the end. This book is called Ice Cream Cows and Mitten Sheep, a book about farms. It is by Jane Belk Moncure and illustrated by Paige Billen Fry. It says, a child visits a farm and finds out what each of the animals does to make our lives better. Here we go. Mm. Did you know a library is a magic castle with many word windows in it? What is a word window? If you said a book, you're right. A book is a word window because the words and pictures let you look and look at and see many things. Books are your windows into the wide, wide world around you. Come to the magic castle when you're growing tall. Rows and rows of word windows line every single wall. They reach up high, as high as the sky, and you'll want to open them all. For every time you open one, a new adventure has begun. I love it when books start with poems like this. Remember how our story farm animals started with a poem at the beginning too? It's kind of cool. Here we go. David opened a word window. Guess what David saw? Cows, lots of cows. Hi cows, said David. The cows were on their way to the barn, so David went too. Hi, said the farmer. You're just in time to see me milk the cows. What will you do with the milk, asked David. A milk truck will come. It will take the milk to the dairy, said the farmer. At the dairy, the milk will be made into butter and cheese. It will also be made into milk to drink, yogurt, and ice cream for you, said the farmer. David gave each cow a pat on the head. Thank you, cow, he said. Thanks for all you do for me. Then David saw sheep, lots of sheep. Hi, sheep, he said. The, the sheep were on their way to the barn. David went too. You are just in time to see me give haircuts to my sheep, said the farmer. Buzz, buzz, off came the sheep's wool. <gasps> Remember, we talked about that in this book too, where it says farmers shear the sheep's wool. That's what he's doing. He's cutting off the wool. What will you do with the wool, asked David. A truck will take the wool to the woolen mill, said the farmer. At the mill, the wool would be made into yarn, all colors of yarn. Yarn for a sweater, a scarf, a hat, socks, and mittens for you, said the farmer. David gave each sheep a pat on the head. Thank you, sheep, he said. Thanks for all you do for me. Then David saw hens, lots of hens. Hi, hens, said David. The hens were on their way to the hen house. David went too. Guess what he found? Eggs, lots of eggs. Eggs to fry, boil, scramble, and put in an Easter basket. What did David give each hen? What did David say? Gave him a pat on the head and said thank you. David wanted to stay at the farm, but it was time to go home. Goodbye, farm friends, said David. Then David closed the word window. The end. That was a pretty cool story. I hope you liked what you read. Now, you can take a minute to research whatever animal you are writing about, and your exit ticket is actually going to be your chance to tell us the information you learned about your animal. See you later.